Dearly beloved, our Lord Jesus Christ commanded in the last chapter of Matthew that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and baptize all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey all that I have commanded you. For surely I am with you to the very end of the age. And in the last chapter of Mark, our Lord promises, Whoever believes and is baptized shall be saved. And the Apostle Peter has written, Baptism now saves you. The Word of God teaches us that we are all conceived and born in sin. And we are in need of, uh, of forgiveness through Jesus Christ. And He, in baptism, makes us His own. For we would be lost forever unless delivered from sin, death, and everlasting condemnation. But the Father of all mercy and grace has sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to atone for the sin of the whole world, so that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. Now, Jacob, Jacob, remember what we talked about last week? I'm going to come and put the sign of the cross on your forehead. Is that okay? Jacob, you are now the one marked out by Christ, the crucified. Now, can I do that to your sister too? Well, be all right. All right. Sophia, receive the sign of the cross on your forehead to mark you out as one who is crucified. So let us pray. Fold our hands on our head. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, according to your strict judgment, you condemn the unbelieving world through the flood. But according to your mercy, you preserve believing Noah and his family, eight souls in all. And you drown hard-hearted Pharaoh and all of his hosts in the Red Sea. But your people, the people of Israel, walked through the waters on dry ground, foreshadowing the washing of holy baptism. Through the baptism in the Jordan of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, you sanctified and you instituted all waters to be a blessed flood and a lavish washing away of all sin. So we pray that you would now behold Jacob and Sophia, and according to your boundless mercy, you would bless Jacob and Sophia with true faith through the gift of your Holy Spirit, so that through his saving flood, all sin in uh, which, has, uh, which they have inherited from their father Adam and from which they have committed will now be drowned and die. Grant that they will be kept safe and secure in the holy ark of the Christian church being separated from the multitude of unbelievers and serving your name at all times with a fervent spirit and a joyful hope, so that with all believers in your promise, they too will be declared worthy to receive eternal life from Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, sponsors, from ancient times, it has been the church's custom to provide uh, and appoint uh, godparents and sponsors for baptism or for baptismal candidates and for catechumens. In the Evangelical Lutheran Church, sponsors are to be or are to confess the faith expressed in the Apostles' Creed and taught in the small catechism. They are therefore. Uh, to stand in wherever possible, to be witnesses of this baptism. And they are to pray for these children, to support them as they grow up, to instruct them and nurture them in the Christian faith, and to encourage them always to be faithful recipients of our Lord's Supper when that day comes. And they are at all times to be examples to them through their holy life of faith in Jesus Christ and love for their neighbors. If this, then you are willingly and gladly uh, desiring to do, please answer yes with the help of God. 
Yes, 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 I hope I hope God. Now may God enable you both to will and to do this loving task. Now. Jacob, there you are. Jacob, Jacob, your turn. Your turn now. What is his name? Jacob, Anthony, Nemeth. Jacob, Anthony, Nemeth, I baptize you in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Well done. Well done. Thank you. And may the Lord bless you and keep you in His grace. Well done. Thank you. Sophia rose, Nemeth, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And may the Lord who has granted you this new birth through the washing of water and the holy baptism grant you his Holy Spirit now and forevermore. Amen. These are their two baptismal candles. And, can you do me a favor, Jacob? Remember this day, the 9th of October, okay? And you tell Mommy and Daddy, you and Sophia, remember, and remind Mommy and Daddy that on the 9th of October, they need to buy you some cake. <laughs> <laughs> and then you need to get your candles out and light your candles and say, hey, this is another birthday that I have. And we need to celebrate because baptism is a rebirth day. And so both you and Sophia can have another party, light your candles, and enjoy and remember your baptism on this day, okay? Because this candle reminds us that Jesus Christ is the light of the world, and his light burns in you now. Okay? All right, well done. Good. <laughs>